husband right now constipated on marriage. Not trying to make any friends oh. is Renee Michelle. And some shots thrown at Shine and Impact Roll Wrestling. Roll up here too and a kick out. She sounded a little disgruntled. Why do y'all think she's so disgruntled? Well, Why I do you don't think know, but, but, if, but uh, I will tell you if her plan was to burn bridges here tonight, she blew the whole damn thing up. <laughs> Absolutely. Renee Michelle most recently on WWE programming. And now we go to a woman from Shine, someone from Impact Wrestling, all brands represented here at Ladies Night Out. Oh! You, you, look, you look good, girl. You, you look good. Was well, she just asking you how her eye is? Yeah, if her makeup's okay. I told you she looked all right. Her Maybe eyelashes. She, she, she looks, you look great, right, sweetie. Aviators there, cover here, and a kick out. Oh, yeah, Roll another. up here again. on is Aja Pereira and Kiera Hogan engaged in a wrestling match. Meanwhile, Renee Michelle on the outside checking to make sure her makeup is on. Hey, you got to look good in victory, Matt Topolsky. Well, you got to get into the ring and oh. compete in order to be victorious. Oh, look at that. Impressive neck breaker, domino effect into the DDT. Renee Michelle bursting on the scene here at Ladies Night Out 7 and looking for her first victory. Try to pin both One. ladies. Both get a kick out there. And now she goes to the well again. Actually well, got a two that time. Well, and now at first you don't succeed. Try, try again. Listen, Brad, she's trying to get home so she can, you know, finish this whole marriage thing. Well, so you she know, can handle her business. It's still not official. A lot has been talked about the consummation of the marriage. It's still not official. <laughs> I don't know exactly where her husband is currently. That's, that's actually making me blush talking about it. Well, you, well, I don't even want to get into all that. I don't even want to get into it all. we got to make it official. Oh. Oh, well, look at that. Oh. Well, why do the work yourself when you can hire somebody else? That was Kiara Hogan's thinking behind it. Very impressive from the girl on fire. The hottest flame is heating up. I love me some Kiara Hogan. Girl from Hot Atlanta. I don't know if I ever told you this. I got broads in Atlanta. Oh my gosh. No. Oh. Kiara Hogan right now. Really firing up. The girl on oh, fire. Wow. Turning up the temperature in here. It's like once upon a time at Ladies Night Out 7. And yes, she brought her flamethrower. Oh! Oh, but Aja pulls out the rug from underneath. A triple threat matchup, one fall to a finish here. The first pinfall will be the winner. And still to come, a double main event. Oh! With the Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division Championship up for grabs between Miranda the superstar Miranda Alizé and Alex Gracia, the pink dream, and of course, Ivelisse and Diamante still to come. Ooh, that backhand. That backhand, though. Absolutely. As Aja and Kira Hogan going at it on the outside, Renee Michelle still inside the squared circle. That's where you got to pin. That's where you got to make him submit. That's where the fall counts. And now all three ladies back in the ring, and a cover is coming down. One, two. Renee Michelle getting there just in the nick of time. Matt Topolsky. All three of these ladies. All, these th all three of these ladies want to get a win here tonight. I mean, it is the battle of almost brand superiority in some senses. You know, one's got to wonder why Renee Michelle would ask for this matchup in the first place. I mean, you know, she got her meet and greet money. She had a 
had a good night here. I mean, what, Ivory, what do you think brings her out here tonight, the ladies' night out seven, to actually compete? I don't know. I'm very interested by that answer, too, but I feel like she should be at home trying to consummate her marriage, so maybe she's not <laughs> Make it official. as yeah. interested in doing that right look, now. Look, y'all are more interested in what's going on in this woman's bedroom when she's trying to win a professional wrestling match. You should be ashamed of yourself, <laughs> the both of you. Why are you all giggling? Hey, I'm just saying what the people are well, thinking. Well, I'm just saying I don't go out to Eddie V's just for the calamari. Oh, look out. Up top here. Oh, oh Renee Michelle oh. with a spear that takes out both competitors. You are looking live at Ladies Night Out 7. The All Women's Invitational live and in your living room courtesy of Title Match Network emanating from the World Gym Arena in Houston, Texas. A night in which we have and will continue to see seven never before seen matchups. And if you count this one with the addition of Renee Michelle, it makes eight. Oh man. A lot of buzz about Renee Michelle. Everyone's been talking about her for the last several weeks. Ticket sales went up here at Ladies Night Out when it was announced that she was gonna be here. Oh. oh, not very smart there, turning her back on the girl on fire. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait a minute, this might be all. This Look might be all. Power. Oh. Oh. Ooh. oh, lights out. The girl on fire with a super kick right there. That was muy caliente, and she gets the victory. You're absolutely right, though, Matt Topolsky. Kiera Hogan bought, brought the flamethrower. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's still fired up. Well, I got to tell you, Brad Gilmore. Like a woman with Kiera some fire. Kiera Hogan with the victory here tonight, but she didn't pin Renee Michelle. Renee Michelle reminding her that perhaps a little unfinished business here that these two may have to sew up at Ladies Night Out 8. The good news for Renee Michelle is now she can get to step in and get home to make it official. Ooh, I don't think anything's gonna happen. I, I, you know? I don't know. I, I, she's not in the mood. She's she not in the mood. She didn't, no. She no, gotta no. be in the mood. You gotta be in the mood. Renee Michelle's not in the mood. Well, I'll be <laughs> damned. Bell rings and this one is underway. It's the debut matchup here. And this matchup between LNO and AML Wrestle. talk here early between Renee Michelle and Kiera. You said earlier this is a personal affair between the two of these, but the fans here in Winston-Salem, they didn't come here tonight to watch these two jawing with each other. They came here to see a fight. Renee Michelle saying that she can't, Kiera Hogan can't handle her. We're gonna find out here momentarily. And of course, you can watch this entire event, the full event at titlematchnetwork.com, and of course, of course, binge the entire LNO series as well. Drop kick to the outside there. Ladies' night out eight, of course, coming up this November. You can find out more information about that at titlematchnetwork.com as well. Important thing to note here is that the Ladies Night Out brand will be featured as the new women's division in AML Wrestling. Shot downstairs right there from Kiera Hogan. Snapmare over the top. Oh, and a shot to the dome. Welcoming Renee Michelle to the action here tonight. Hooks the leg, looking for a short night of work, but Renee Michelle gets that shoulder up at two, and the match continues. Oh, she got ready now. Wait, 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 wait. Back her up. Renee Michelle, known as Renee Maverick on WWE television, the husband of Drake Maverick. 
her videos have certainly blown up in the 24-7 title storyline. Kind of hard to miss if you've been on YouTube and not living under a rock. Gara Hogan here says that uh, she's going to get the job done tonight. Perhaps a little bit too overconfident coming into this matchup, and now those shots in there to the corner. Shot to the gut as well from Renee Michelle. It's an important thing to note here as well that she has yet to consummate her marriage with her husband Drake Maverick. Perhaps if she took some time away from the squared circle, beating the hell out of the ladies' night out contenders, she would have an opportunity to make it official. Really good night of action scheduled here in the debut of Ladies' Night Out here at AML. Of course, so much more still to come. Hello and Double D Rose here later on tonight. Also, Thunder Rosa will be in action. Snap mare again. Renee Michelle making her presence known early on here in this matchup. Here into the buckle there with authority. A personal affair between these two ladies. And scissors over the top here from Kiara Hogan. We have seen Kiara Hogan in some high impact matchups here at Ladies Night Out, too, including a cage match that she had with Eva Lise. The girl on fire really made her mark in the sport of professional wrestling on that night. And now she's measuring up Renee Michelle here. But a face first of middle turnbuckle. And I'm quite certain you won't find that on the food pyramid. Irish whip again in the corner. Big forearm coming back. Renee Michelle charging up. Kiara Hogan trying to return fire. A seesaw opening battle here as Ladies Night Out makes its debut at AML. Michelle adding insult to injury here. Look out. Huge clothesline there, and both competitors are down. The vestiges of this battle taking its toll on both athletes. This is what the ladies' night out division, this is what the LNO brand is all about. succession of strikes, a flurry of offense here from the girl on fire, so hot. She is shining blue in that ring right now, coming back once again. Talked about it when this matchup began, a personal affair between both of these two. Kiara Hogan really looking for something to prove here. Splash in the corner, coming back, charges up this time, backside into the bread basket, down goes Renee Michelle. Kiara Hogan charging up again, this time that shot right to the dome, right to the temple, could be lights out for Renee Michelle. Drags her out to the center of the ring here, lateral press, looking to end it. No, kick out at two and three quarters. Here, Hogan trying to get this crowd, and Winston Salem behind her right now. Reversal here from Renee Michelle, shot downstairs. Face first, and that could be it. Reversal here, two, no. 
Off of that pin attempt, but the match continues, and Renee Michelle beside herself right now, demanding a three count from the official. What a way for Ladies' Night Out to make its debut here in Winston-Salem. Oh, and she's on her hair right now, just standing on her hair now, stomps on the right hand of Kiara Hogan. Renee Michelle has a mean streak, to say the least. Here, Hogan ducks underneath here. Oh, look at that corkscrew! Fisherman suplex to finish, and she got her! She got her! Kiara Hogan gets the W! And you've got to wonder there if perhaps Renee Michelle was a bit distracted in this matchup, especially considering the fact that she and her husband yet have to make it official. Perhaps now she'll have the opportunity to lick her wounds and go back and consummate that marriage because the girl on fire has made it a moot point. She gets the W here tonight, and she gets the final word in this rivalry. Ladies' Night Out has come to AML in a big way. What a statement win for the girl on fire, Kiara Hogan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here on Title Match Network for Hurricane Pro Wrestling. I am Sammy Kiss as we get set for women's division action as the money, Renee Michelle. And as she puts it, she is worth every penny, and it's hard to argue against that. Renee Michelle going one on one with the Brazilian brutal, Christy James. We get a tie up, it's a waist, waist lock from Christy James, a reversal into Renee Michelle. Women's wrestling has become a cornerstone here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. We want to thank you all for joining us here on Title Match Network, available on TitleMatchNetwork.com. You can also view great Title Match Wrestling net, uh, action on Title Match on YouTube. As you see Renee Michelle taking down Christy James. As has been quite the pattern here this year in 2020, you never know what's going to happen. These two women only notified days ago that they were going to be competing against each other here at Hurricane Pro. Nevertheless, these two going one-on-one, -on -one, and with such a short span of time, it's hard to scout your opponent. It's really going to be interesting to see how these two fare against one another. You see Chrissy Janes getting the better of that exchange, a true clash of styles. You see Chrissy Janes from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, adding an international flavor here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Well, like that high-flying Lucha Libre style. She's trained in Mexico with the likes of Ray Phoenix and Pentagon going up against Renee Michelle. You see collar elbow, you see a side headlock by Chrissy James. Renee Michelle, who's been training in MMA mixed martial arts since the age of four, if you can believe it. Talk about a clash of styles and a big shoulder block from Chrissy Janes. And there's that flash of style from Chrissy Janes. Step over, and the, another side headlock and takes her down. And this has been all Chrissy Janes from the get go of this matchup. Chrissy Janes. I'm sure wrestling fans have seen on AEW Dark, who've seen her on the crashes of recently making her debut here tonight on Hurricane Pro Wrestling on Title Match Network. You see the Irish whip up and over, it goes to the outside. There's Chrissy James, Renee going for that side elbow. And Chrissy able to return it. Up goes for a sunset flip, catches her. Renee rolls through on a side kick from Chrissy James, goes to the cover, hooks the far leg, and only a two count. And faster than I can even call here. 
Christy James maintaining control here. You gotta believe that the international styles throwing Renee Michelle off her game here. Again, these two women have not been able to scout each other. Oh, and a sidekick knocking Christy James down. Psych. Almost a two count, almost that elementary. Goes for the cover again. Hooks the far leg, and again a two count. And Renee Michelle taking every advantage she can take in this matchup. I want to thank you all for watching us here on Title Match Network. Ford Field here in Beaumont, Texas, hosting Hurricane Pro every single month, and we thank you for joining us here tonight. We, of course, are observing social distancing protocols. As you see, Renee Michelle cinching in a side headlock. And the Christy Jane slowing this pace down. You can't offer any offense if you're if you're down on the mat, but Christy Jane's trying to trying to stand out to that vertical base. Try to create separation, does Christy James. The Brazilian Brutal, the Brazilian Wonder Woman, Renee Michelle knocks her back down. Renee Michelle is only a few years into her wrestling career, suffered a terrible injury just a, just a year ago, an MCL, an ACL, a meniscus tear, has been battling back to get back into the game. And a win here against Christy James would be a huge win and a huge feather in the cap of Renee Michelle to move toward bigger and better success. She again snap marrying Christy Jane's Irish whip into the far corner. And a big splash. Renee Michelle surprisingly almost in complete control. She caught Christy James with that side kick and it's been all Renee Michelle since. Irish whip to the far corner of Christy able to reverse it. Oh, and Renee Michelle with a tilt a whirl, a down to an armbar and a Fujiwara armbar. Chris James desperately needs to get to the rope, or it's going to be all over. And Renee Michelle pulling her back to the center of the ring. Very smart strategy from the MMA specialist, Renee Michelle, really wrenching that arm. But Chris James able to desperately get to that bottom rope. Renee's got a five count, breaks. And then kicks her arm for good measure off the bottom rope. Referee Bobby Black can let it fly. Man, Renee Michelle, complete control now. Can Renee Michelle call herself the money and you can't afford her with a side kick right to that left arm? All of her energy, all of her focus now into the arm she's been working over. Oh, and Chris James catches it. Oh, into a dragon screw. And just like that now, Chrissy James up on top. Goes to a jackknife pin. Is that enough? Referee out of position. Renee Michelle back up on top. Going for the waist lock. Oh, Chrissy James lifts her up. Oh, my God. This, this is a horrible position for Renee Michelle. Oh, it's almost an Alabama slam into the corner. As Chrissy Jane sets her up into a almost a meteor knees right to the face of Renee Michelle in the corner. Reverse slips through. Going for a backslide pin. No, Renee slips out of it. Oh, and a knee right to the face, right to the chin. And there's Renee going for the oh! The moss covered three handle family credenzo. Bobby Black goes for a cover, only got a one count. This is one of my favorite maneuvers. The Moss Cover 300 Family Gradons. If you don't know it, look it up. Chrissy Chains getting frustrated. Goes to the ropes again. Oh, and a spin kick from Renee Michelle. Goes to the neck breaker. Oh, it smashes her face right into the canvas. Covers the far leg. Oh, and it's a three count. Here is your winner, Renee Indeed is like what I like to call a pick -em match because I don't know exactly who is my favorite and who is going to win in this. 
Brittany, I gotta be honest with you. I, I'm done with predictions for tonight. <laughs> we have just seen Are it. you no longer a betting well, man? I, absolutely, I never really was to begin with, but if I was before, I'm certainly not now because we just have seen here in the Diamond Cup that anything can happen. But what I can tell you is this, is this is the marquee matchup of round number one. This is the matchup that everyone across the professional wrestling world has been oh. talking about. It is Shaw Guerrero and Renee Michelle the top Guerrero. names in all of women's wrestling around the world, and they are squaring off right here at GCW 14. Yes, they are, and I mean, that's the thing is Latina Heat, this is actually, oh! Showing her sass and cockiness. This is her first independent wrestling match. She hasn't wrestled in a ring in for six years, and this is her first match on the independent scene. But you know something? Even with after six years, with her pedigree coming from that family, the famous fighting Guerrero family. Oh, yes, indeed. Shaw Guerrero is as dangerous and skilled as anybody. Whether she's done it a week ago or six years ago, Shaw Guerrero is here to show up and show out. And right now, Renee right Michelle throws her off the ropes. Shaw ducks a clothesline. Renee a back should elbow. know that those kind of moves are not going to work on Shaw. I mean, it's in her blood. She's been doing that probably since she was a wee one. Latina Heat drives her down to the mat. Goes for cover. But Renee Michelle able to get that shoulder up in the nick of time. Latina Heat here. Sell Shaw Guerrero is really trying to end this match early here. Playing a little dirty, but you know, you got to do what you got to you know, do that, to advance. That seems, you know, that's kind of part of the course when you're talking about the Guerreros. I mean, that's the thing is like her oh, entire, like her entire family, she is going to make moves and blaze a trail of her own. And that is to go and try to claim the Diamond Cup. Shades of the late Eddie about? Guerrero, live cheat and steal right now. She's standing on her hair and claiming ignorance. Now, I know she's been away for six years, but I'm pretty sure she still knows some of the rules of professional wrestling. Look, I mean, I don't know if you need to get your glasses checked, Professor. I've had a recent checkup, thank you. But I was watching the same thing that you were watching, and I don't know where you saw anything going on. I mean, she was just standing there trying to help her get up. Uh, on the hair of her opponent. Nevertheless, right now, I don't know. Shaw Guerrero has a waistline but Renee Michelle is doing all she can to break it. Trying to power out. Kick to the midsection from Shaw Guerrero. Has her hooked up. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh no. So three amigas. Oh, Renee oh, stopping quite. it. Only one suplex. Giving her a little shove. You know, that's the thing is Renee Michelle is no slouch. Yes, she looks pretty. Yes, she gets manicures. Yes, she keeps herself nice. You know why? Because she's money. She likes to say that she is the money. Well, a lot of people don't realize that Renee Michelle has an extensive wrestling background around uh -huh. the world. She has done multiple tours of Japan. She has trained in India. Mm -hmm. She's had world-class training from many of the best oh. wrestlers in the world, all over the world. And right now, she's showing right now that she is no slouch. Whether she's in there with a Guerrero, doesn't matter who she's against. She's here to show up and take home the Diamond Cup just like everybody else is trying to. You know, and it's one of those things of she said that it is an honor and a privilege for Shaw to be stepping in the ring with her. So that just shows you exactly what she thinks of herself and of her training. Renee Ooh. Michelle impressing here though. Snapmare takeover and a kick right to the upper back. And Renee Michelle in control. Two count there, referee Julie Dilbert handling the officiating duties here for this matchup. Using that manicure that we've seen so recently to uh, rip her nails down Shaw's back, but Shaw coming out Those nails are fighting. dangerous. They should be registered as weapons. I mean, you know, I just, I mean, you know they, yeah, I'm, they look nice, I'm watching though. you over here as well. I got claws, too. <laughs> right now looking for a vertical oh. suplex of her own. Uh-oh, yes. Renee Michelle. Renee looking to do the three oh. amigos. Blatant display. Of disrespect and giving oh. Shaw Guerrero a taste of her. Is it disrespect or is it tribute? It's hard to oh. say. Oh, oh. Lady, I think it's a bit disrespectful, and Shaw Guerrero, I think, is in agreement with me right now. Uh-oh, hooks her up. Oh. There's one. one. Sure, Shaw. Let's count them out. Oh. Oh. And we do we her. have it? Drum roll, please. Oh. Three amigos here in for the pin. But a kick out at two. Brittany, you have to use the female conjugative. I believe it's the three amigas. Oh, well, there you go. There the more you know. know. Not enough to put away Renee Michelle, but certainly turning the tides here. Renee Michelle had the advantage, but right now, Shaw Guerrero has leveled the playing field. 
I know you mentioned she's been away for six years, but she doesn't look like she has skipped a beat at oh. all here tonight. Oh. Renee thing, Michelle catches her with a sidekick. Regardless of her being away from a ring, she still has been training. She's still been working. She has many, many skills. She is a choreographed dancer. She travels all over. She has her own dance troupe, the Vaudettes. I mean, she's also a skilled master of the microphone. I, like, I, she is know. indeed. Oh! Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh. Renee Michelle. Really trying to get Ooh. inside the head of Shaw Guerrero. That was a guttural banshee scream. I don't know if that was. What is she doing to oh, the Oh, she's taking the buckle off. I don't know what you're talking Adam? about. I, I'm. Yep. Get, oh. oh out of the way. When she wants a chair, she wants a chair. She, she needs my chair. She's You're happy. rude. I, You're, I, so I, rude. I, 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 You're so rude. You're so rude. Let it go. 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 No, I saw a Guerrero do what a Guerrero oh. does. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest by disqualification, Shaw Guerrero. You do anything you have to to get that gold, Poppy. And that is lie, cheat, and steal. And guess what? That chair? Classic. And introducing her opponents from our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., she is the money. Renee Michelle returning here at Hurricane Pro, going one on one with the Queen of Spain. I must translate, Micah. It's going to be tremendous women's wrestling action here at Hurricane Pro on Title Match Network. As you see, the money Renee Michelle giving referee Saeed Abu Musa, I think, too much for him to handle. He's going to check Micah as we get set up for this contest. This is Sammy Kiss. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Women's Pro Wrestling is been one of the hottest divisions of pro wrestling, not just here at Hurricane Pro, but in the wrestling world in general. And we've got a treat for you here tonight. Because there you see the money, Renee Michelle, take control early on in this matchup. There's a reversal from Micah, Queen of Spain. The money, Renee Michelle. You know, I tried to approach, approach Renee Michelle earlier tonight, and she happily, I guess I should say, uh, took the time out of her very busy schedule to talk to me about this new monitor she's going by, the money Renee Michelle, and I mean, it, it, I guess it should be pretty self-explanatory. Whenever Renee Michelle is on the show, it's money. Whenever Renee Michelle is in the building, it's money. If you are able to put Renee Michelle anywhere, as you see Michael grabbing the hair, not enough. Referee out of, out of referee sight, trying to create separation. You see the sight headlock for Renee Michelle. Grabbing the hair again, backs her up. There's a separation and Renee Michelle putting Micah right back down, showing why she is indeed the money, blowing a kiss to that challenger up and over. And again, side headlock, it takes Micah again right back down. And that again is why Renee Michelle is the money. She sees herself as a combination of Rick Martella and the sensational Sherry. Think Beyonce meets Jessica Rabbit. Her words, not mine, though it's hard to argue with her. As beautiful as she is dangerous, don't let her looks fool you. Renee Michelle, one of the most beautiful women in the wrestling business today, also has an MMA background. She's been training in MMA since she was four years old, believe it or not. And she's showing that technical prowess here with a side headlock. Complete control in this matchup. Again, Michael grabbing the hair. Referees needs to get involved here. Backing her up in the corner. Finally, creating some separation. Again, grabbing the hair. 
Might be looking at disqualification early in this contest. Micah keeps this up. You know, she's going to be looking for that tarantula, that submission hold that she's won numerous matchups with. And what would it mean for her to beat someone of the prestige and notoriety of Renee Michelle here at Hurricane Pro? That snapmare takedown and a kick taking Renee down. Goes to the cover. First cover. Got a one count. Goes to cover again. Again, a one count. Renee Michelle recently on Impact Wrestling as part of their women's tag team tournament has been turning heads. You know, Renee Michelle went down with not just an MCL but an ACL tear. And since she's returned, she's made a name, she's, she's made a point that she's going to be the most dominant woman in pro wrestling. And she wants to make sure everyone knows it. And she doesn't understand. I mean, women's wrestling has been around for as long as I can remember. And this women's revolution, what is so wrong with being the most beautiful woman in the room? What is so wrong with being sexy? What is so wrong with, with adding sex appeal into women's wrestling? That's Renee Michelle's mission here, that she you can be sexy and dominant at the same time, but she's having a hard time being dominant now. As you see Michael on top, she's in complete control of the money, Renee Michelle. She's trying to fight back here. Let's go. Move right to the throw, referee. Got a five count. Broke on three. And again, and Micah taking all advantage. She knows the position she's in. She knows that she's at Hurricane Pro on Title Match Network. And that if she can beat Renee Michelle, what it would mean for her career. But now, come on now, you don't want to risk being disqualified. Pulling Renee Michelle's throat on that bottom row. Irish Oh! Thought it was almost a slip up. Sliding through with a back kick. Slides through again. Oh, and a big kick right to the face. Micah down cover. And Renee Michelle gets a two count. Women's wrestling has become one of the marquee events here at Hurricane Pro. And this matchup has been nothing short of the standard that you would expect here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. There you see Micah on an abdominal stretch. Nowhere for Renee Michelle to go. Digging that elbow right in the ribs. Next press of hard is to breathe when you're in that maneuver. Micah attacking Renee Michelle from all so many different angles. Hard for her to really predict where Micah's gonna come at her from. Back straps with the ropes again, another Irish whip. Goes through, goes through a clothesline, ducks it. Another kick. Those spin kicks that Renee Michelle's been very proficient at in this matchup so far. Micah trying to come out of the corner. Renee Michelle's is not right now. Goes back, oh, and Micah meets her right in the corner. Back and forth we go. Oh, and this time, a spinning forearm right to the face. Two count. Renee Michelle stalking Micah. And Micah again, taking advantage. This is a great showing for Micah here tonight, the Queen of Spain. Oh, there it is! There's that tarantula! Now you can't win with this maneuver. It's in the ropes, it's an illegal maneuver. Referee arguing with Micah, let go. But the devastation, the pain that she put Renee Michelle enough for just that brief amount of time, is that enough? Hooks a near leg this time. And a kick out. So now hits the far leg. And again a two count. Very smart hooking that, that near leg might not have been enough. Tries to hit the again again the near leg. That's that lack of experience from Queen from the Queen of Spain. Just trying to get that win in as quick as, can, as she can. She's trying to maneuver, try to put a little more weight, trying to put a little more maneuverability on top of those covers. It might have been over there. We'll never know. And again another kick from Renee. And now turns it into oh! It's a twisting neck breaker. Unique offense from Nay Michelle. Hooks the leg, and that's it! Here is your winner, Renee Michelle! Introducing first, from our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., she is always the mother. Renee!
and introducing her opponent from Des Moines, Iowa. She is the winner and defending Hurricane Pro Women's Champion, the Killer Bay. gentlemen the wait is finally over after much anticipation finally returning to hurricane pro the hurricane pro women's champion heather monroe putting that championship on the line against the money renee michelle this is going to be a real treat thank you for joining us on title match network and there you see the champion heather monroe draping hurricane pro senior official radio and uh, Renee Michelle doesn't seem to want to have anything to do with that. Renee Michelle undefeated since returning here to Hurricane Pro Wrestling, earning this shot at the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Heather Monroe's personal photographer, Chad Cooper, getting adorned on the outside. And Heather Monroe having some fun making a return here tonight in Beaumont, Texas, at Ford Park. And going to tie up with Renee Michelle, the challenger who wants nothing to do with the champion. Renee Michelle is not going to take this opportunity lightly. And Heather Michelle, she likes to have a lot of fun here at Hurricane Pro, but she cannot underestimate the challenge. Though again, it doesn't seem that Renee Michelle wants anything to do with this matchup. Again, going in the ropes. Got a bit of a ring in my ear. Renee's screaming to the referee to get her off her in the ropes. HPW Women's, Ta Women's Championship on the line. And now Renee calling for a, a timeout because she needs, she needs to do some pre-match stretching apparently in the corner. In all seriousness, Renee, I mean, at some point, it's gonna happen. These two women are gonna have time in the middle of the ring. Renee playing some mind games with the champion here. I'm trying to catch her off guard, and she does. This is that strategy all along with a side headlock from the challenger, the money Renee Michelle. It's a nice takedown. Don't let her appearance fool you, Renee Michelle, as beautiful of any of the competitors in the women's division. She has a legit MMA background. She's been performing mixed martial arts since the age of four, believe it or not. She's very experienced. And she's trying to roll out of it. And again, nice switch. The side headlock again goes to Challenger. been some time since we've seen the champion Heather Monroe here at Hurricane Pro. You know she wanted to eagerly come back and defend that Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. But you know she does not want to start 2021 losing that championship to someone like Renee Michelle. Michelle has been in complete control thus far as Heather Monroe trying to work her way out of it. Works into a side headlock of her own. Goes the Killer Bay. Renee not get off the hair. She's back ropes, whips her off. And waist lock to the full Nelson. An arm drag from the champion. And that's why she's the champion here. Oh! Got caught with a stiff elbow. And they're trying to throw the champion to the outside. Lands on the apron. Oh! Got a stiff kick right to the back of the head. Referee demand they get back in the ring. And you see Heather Monroe showing off for this great crowd here in Beaumont, Texas. Thank you for joining us here at Ford Park. Thank you for joining us on Title Match Network for Hurricane Pro Wrestling. 
We could not do this without your support. 2020 was not the year for anyone. We look to change that here in 2021. We appreciate you always supporting Hurricane Pro Wrestling with a senton from the champion. Goes for the cover. And a two count. And the first cover of this matchup. Heather Monroe from SoCal, California, train at the famed Santino's Brothers Wrestling Academy. As well versus so many styles. And there you see big splash in the corner, setting Renee up. And Renee Michelle wisely avoids contact, slipping to the outside. Much the chagrin of this audience. Renee Michelle playing a very defensive minded matchup here. Not the kind of offense that this crowd would like to see. But Smart Trash, she wants to become champion. Heather Monroe right behind her. Oh! Still elbow right to the face. You know the money's not going to like that. Some women on the outside, referees count. Now up to four. You gotta get back in the ring. Hate to see a championship contest end like this in a count out. Referee now up to seven. So we're gonna go back and forth on the outside. Now finally breaking almost on nine. Renee dropped the elbow and Heather Monroe wisely slips out of the way. And again, come on is right. Fool me once, shame on you. Oh, these vicious elbow attacks from Heather Monroe in this contest. It's momentum. And it looks like Renee Michelle is done playing games with Heather Monroe. That was a vicious clothesline taking the champion down. The world was her oyster. She had all the momentum in the world before she had a terrible MCL and ACL tear a couple of years ago, and she has fought back to get back into competition. And since returning to the square circle, she has been incredibly dominant, but has yet to put championship gold around her waist because she could change all of that here tonight. And she's able to knock off the Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. But she's not gonna get an argument with the referee. She's gotta stay on offense. Keep that tenacious viciousness attacking Heather Monroe. You know, women's wrestling has become a mainstay in the professional wrestling business. And Renee Michelle would like nothing more than to become the face of that division. Beautiful bridge with the suplex. Only gets a two count. Women's revolution born out of the divas revolution. And Renee Michelle does not consider the word diva a dirty word. She does not compare herself to her peers like Heather Monroe or Miranda Alizé. She puts herself on a tier with people like Beyonce and Jessica Rabbit of all the ludicrous comparisons she's, she puts on herself. And that's why she calls herself the money, because wherever she goes, the money follows. Again, goes to the cover. And you see the frustration on the face of Renee Michelle. Maybe she stops focusing on people like Beyonce and I mean and Jessica Rabbit and focus more on the athleticism that she needs to demonstrate like that. Rolls through, does the champion Heather Monroe? Oh! Renee Michelle able to get up, but then Heather Monroe catches her. It's almost a Koji clutch. Not able to wedge that leg over just enough. Renee Michelle trying to reposition into a cover, forcing Monroe to release the hold. 
Kevin Moore trying to put that, that lock on. Didn't get all of it. Big back kick from Renee Michelle. The money Renee Michelle. And if she's able to capture the women's championship here tonight, she will indeed be the money here at Hurricane Pro. Stomp, stomp, and stomp on Monroe in the corner. Now come on, putting that foot in the throat, deep in the throat of Monroe, breaks on four. And use those feminine walls and the referee's not, I don't think it's gonna get her anywhere. Oh, Monroe catching her, rolls her up. And they got a two count. Another kick. Those precision kicks from Renee Michelle. Monroe again trying to roll through. Caught her almost a small package. And now Renee. Rolling up Monroe again. Back and forth we go. The Hurricane Pro Women's Championship at stake here. Killer Bay Heather Monroe. Like nothing more than a big W on her return here to Hurricane Pro Wrestling. She sets Renee up, goes for the kick. No, and Renee returns it. Oh, God, caught her right on the face. And the champ, uh, the champion looks like she's out of it. That might be all of it. Hooks the far leg. Oh, two and three quarters. Oh, and a chin breaker from the champion. And another clothesline. Monroe's got to build some offense here. Every time she tries to pick up steam, Renee's been able to catch her off guard. She's got to stay on it. It's the fighting spirit of the Killer Bay. That's one of Heather Monroe's time-tested signature maneuvers. An apropos maneuver to put on the money Renee Michelle, but it was only enough to get a two count. Now she's setting her up. Oh, rolls the road through again. Oh, only got a two count. Again, rolls through. Two count again. Roll up after roll up. Now going for a backslide. And she leverages her in. Oh man, only two count again. Kick, roll up, kick, roll up. Back and forth we go. Who's gonna end this one out as the women's champion? Stiff kick right to the face. Here we go. No, again, only two. And you see frustration starting to build on both the champion and the challenger. Oh, wait, whips are off. Reversal from Renee. Up, up and over. Out to the outside of the Renee Michelle. Catches the champion with the forearm. Shoulder into the midsection. Slides through the legs. Another roll up. I'm grabbing the bottom rope. No, wait a minute. Referee caught it. Moran trying to argue with the referee that she had, doesn't know what he was talking about. Cannot use the ropes for leverage. Great call from the referee. Now Renee with the waist lock. Going for a German. Heather catches her. Full Nelson. Another waist lock reversal. Reversal again. Off the ropes. Catches her up, oh, the bad Vigianoko driver. Is that enough? Yes! There is your winner, and still, Hurricane Pro Women's Champion, Heather Monroe. Introducing first, from our nation's capital in Washington, D.C., she 
is the money. Renee Michelle. one-on-one -on -one, Casey Lennox versus the money Renee Michelle thank you for joining us here on title match network use hashtag the show to share everything you're hearing here and seeing here on hurricane pro wrestling on ladies night out and of course Queens of the ring on title match network I'm Sammy kiss calling all the actions we get ready for this one-on-one -on -one contest between the money Renee Michelle and Casey Lennox you know talk about two Queens here in Beaumont Texas Renee Michelle Last time we saw her, she was challenging Heather Monroe for the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. And though she came up short, it was back and forth in that contest that match was available on Title Match Network. But Renee Michelle, other than that one blemish, has been undefeated here at Hurricane Pro. And she looks to continue that streak here tonight against Casey Lennox. A nice arm bar there. Casey Lennox reversing it. Both women exchanging holds on that left arm. As elementary as it may seem, I dare anyone to get in the ring with either of these two ladies and not be hurting the next day. You see women very evenly matched up, both in their experience, their style, and quite frankly, their attitudes here at Queens of the, Queens of the Ring. The Irish whip, Casey Lennox going in the corner, up and over. Great athleticism, Casey Lennox. Sweet and sassy, and apparently the most charming person. There's a roll up. Referee found a one count. Nice roll up. Oh! Almost a snap suplex, float over. Hooks the far leg and got a two count. And Renee Michelle's going to take a break to the outside. See the look of shock on Renee Michelle's face. She did not expect this kind of offense from Casey Lennox, maybe under, underestimating her opponent here tonight. I mean, when you get on one of those winning streaks that Renee Michelle is on, sometimes you can take your opponents for granted. Murphy's count up to two. Renee Michelle's got to collect herself. Rolls back to the end, and then rolls immediately back out. He's going to make Casey Lennox wait. Renee Michelle, the money is going to take her sweet time. She'll get back in the ring when she when she feels like it. But I think Casey Lennox is not going to be patient. Coming outside to meet Renee Michelle. Renee, you might want you might want to turn around. Oh, and a forearm right to the face. There are no timeouts in pro wrestling, Renee. And Casey Lennox taking it to the money. Oh, and face first on the side of the apron. I believe contractually, I'm obligated to say that is the hardest part of the ring. Face first into the side of the ring. And now Casey Lennox rolling Renee Michelle back, back in the ring. Oh, and Renee dropping an elbow, found nobody home. Well scouted by Casey. And now there's a proverbial stalemate here, so Casey tries to roll back in. Renee drops another elbow, rolls out of the way. Referee's got to handle this. We need both women back in the ring. All right, and here we go. And now we have to reset. Renee going for a close line. Oh, and a big back spinny kick, and down goes Casey. That might be all. Is that it? No, and Casey able to kick out right at the last possible second. Renee Michelle may be sassy, she may be beautiful, but do not underestimate her. She can bring out those lethal kicks at any moment. It was almost, almost all over right there. And now that vicious side of Renee Michelle. And 
another clothesline. This time connects, takes Casey Lennox down, and there's the rage of the money. Almost seems it was the audacity of Casey Lennox. A little clerk. Oh! Now wait, now hold on. All right. Our referee's saying that was two. As they rename a show, almost taking a little too much time to make that cover. God, it's a back break. It might have been all if she was not more concerned with apparently the attitude of feeling that the audacity of Casey Lennox to even sign up for this matchup. Renee Michelle claims to own this ring here at Queens of the Ring. If she can get a victory here tonight over a superstar caliber Casey Lennox, that'll go a long way with that argument. And our referee getting close to Casey and asking if she wants to give up. On a stage like this, here at the show, Queens of the Ring, Ladies Night Out, Hurricane Pro. You know that she's got a lot more fight left in her. This crowd trying to get behind her. Getting up to that vertical phase, and Renee bringing her right back down. Maintaining control. See the referee trying to check, make sure that she's not pulling those forearms too close under the chin. You don't want it to turn into a choke. And it's hard to breathe. She's got Casey Lennox's hair is all in her face. She's take everything in her to not quit. But that's the kind of wrestler that Casey Lennox is. She's sweet, she's sassy, she's charming, but she's not a quitter. Oh! Drops her name, Michelle's chin, staggers. Swings through. Oh, and just mows her down. Casey Lennox and Renee Michelle rolls, switches through, catches the arm. Wrist control into an Irish whip. Oh, Renee Michelle is reeling here. Casey Lennox has got her on, up on her shoulders. Oh, and drops her down. My God, the impact, is that it? No, only got a two count, only got a two count. Casey Lennox cannot believe it. Casey arguing with the referee, the referee confirming that was a two. This match will continue. Casey Lennox needs to stay on Renee. Send her up. Ready for another power ball. There's another one of those lethal kicks from Renee. Oh, and drops her face first into the center of the ring. Hooks the far leg. And that is it. Thank you for joining us here on Title Match Network for Hurricane Pro Wrestling as we get set for this women's division tag team matchup. Vipress and Renee Michelle taking on the team of Cece Chanel and the Killer Bay Heather Monroe. It's going to be Renee Michelle starting it off against Heather Monroe. You see the long history here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Here's the bell, and here we go. Women's wrestling has become the cornerstone here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Showcasing some of the best women's wrestlers in all of the world here at Hurricane Pro. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sammy Kisses. You see Heather Monroe goes for a roll up. Early on to start this contest. Now for another cover. It's a two count this time to Renee Michelle. Press to go over, almost, almost doesn't make it. Renee almost near the ropes. Heather Monroe wisely keeping her feet trapped, goes gets another two count. And now Heather backing up at her corner, tags in Cece and Michelle, Chanel. This tag team contest is gonna go a long way to determine who will be the number one contender for the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Oh, and there's a big sent on from Heather Monroe. And an elbow from Chanel, goes for another cover. It's been kick after kick up from Renee Michelle. Maybe some of these covers don't expect to necessarily get the three count, but it puts Renee Michelle on defense, who now grabs the hair, takes Chanel down. This is at our last event that we called a new Hurricane Pro Wrestling Women's Champion in Lady Frost, who ended Heather Monroe's 645-day reign as champion. 
And you know that Heather Monroe is itching to get back in the ring with Lady Frost. You see Renee Michelle getting the face of the referee, smashing the face of CeCe Chanel in each one of those turnbuckles. Tags in the Vipress, the Serpent of Evil. There's some vicious kicks in the corner. And there's another tag. All these women jockeying the position, all wanting to be the face of women's division here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. You can see the very best of women's wrestling here on Title Match Network. Again, thank you for joining us here live in Beaumont, Texas. Oh, and there you see Cece dropping the Vipress. Got caught there. Rolls in shock that she had the audacity to drop her on her face. You see, rolls through, rolls out of it. There's a forearm from Cece Chanel with that boxing background. You don't want to throw strikes with Cece Chanel, the warrioress, now unloading in the corner. Viper's trying to block these blows the best she can. You see Heather Monroe cheering her on in the corner on a big uppercut. Chanel known for those strikes. Yes. Set her up. And for Fisherman Boston Suplex. Nice bridge. Only got a two count out of it. Vicious suplex. Viper's able to kick out. That looks like Chanel. I need to back her up in the corner. Oh, Viper's up there. Renee with a knee in the corner. Just like that, cover from Vipress. There's a kick out from Cece. Cece making her way to Hurricane Pro for debut all the way from Australia. One of the cleanest fighters you'll ever see in this pro wrestling ring. The same cannot be said for Vipress. Again, grabbing here and goes for the cover. Vipress knows what a win here in Hurricane Pro would mean for her career. In the rankings here in the women's division. Another strike. Yes, Chanel on the ropes. Vipers tags in the money, Renee Michelle. I guess a double team action goes for maybe a double vertical suplex. It connects. Cece desperately needs to make a tag. Renee with the cover. See the killer bait waiting in the corner. And they wisely moving Cece back to the center of the ring. That rear chin lock. Over we're getting close, make sure it's not a choke. Checking to see if Cece wants to give it up. Cece Chanel will not give it up. Again, making her debut here in Hurricane Forest and one of the best people you'll ever meet. She teaches self-defense to homeless shelters and women's shelters. Very prideful woman. Will do everything she can to get the victory. Drops her name Michelle under her chin on top of her head. Tries to go for that cover. Tries to go for that tag. Her name is stopping her. Here we go. She can make it. Oh, there's the tag, and Heather Moreau's in. Vipers makes a tag in her corner. Heather ducks, ducks again. And there's a clothesline from the Killer Bay. A big splash in the corner. Heather Monroe taking on both opponents. Stop in the corner on the Vipress. Cover. Heather Monroe rolling up. Vipress hooks both legs. Only got a two count. A ball of fires to Killer Bay, former Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. Tag again to CZ Chanel. And now the Warrior Rest and the Killer Bay going for a double suplex of their own. Vipers fights out of it. It's the tenacity of the Serpent of Evil. Clothesline takes down the Killer Bay. And a cutter from Cece. Warriors crawling to the cover. Rolls over to Vipers. Vipers gets that right shoulder up. Referee telling Renee Michelle get back in the corner. It's gonna be hard to maintain control in this matchup. What would it mean to 
decision now to get a victory here in the Hurricane Pro debut. A big kick right to the face from Renee Michelle. The money goes for another one, but Heather Monroe catches her and drops her down. The chin breaker from the killer, and then the spear from Vipress takes down the killer bay. Big kick, roundhouse from CeCe misses, and a German suplex from the Vipress. Only got a two count. Frustration. The Disney villain comes to life. The Vipress. Vicious strikes. Showing that she can throw hands with Cece Chanel just as well. Now, again, double team offense. Referee's lost all control. All four women are in the ring. Heather Monroe down in the corner. Her name is Shell Vipers putting Cece Chanel on the top rope. And here comes the killer bay, Heather Monroe. A chop to Vipers. Renee spins out of it. Drops it. Heather Monroe needs right to the chin and a kick right to the face. And down goes Monroe. Oh, and there's another roundhouse kick attempt. Cece able to dodge it. And a knee right to the face. Cece Chanel in control, but she got caught. She got caught. Viper's trying to choke Cece out. Cece back around in the corner. Viper's refusing to let go of the hold. Almost a snap mare, but Vipress holds on. Hope she's able to roll out of it. Oh, go for that Cobra Clutch. Just go for the Cobra Clutch. And drives her face down to the canvas. Monroe grabbing Renee Michelle on the outside, and Vipress taps. A huge victory for Heather Monroe and CZ Chanel. Introducing first, from our nation's capital in Washington, D.C., she is the money, Renee Michelle. There's the bells we get set for this special ladies' night out presentation here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling Title Match Network. The Money Renee Michelle going one on one with the Warrioress Cece Chanel. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sammy Kiss. I'll be calling all the action here tonight. It's not the first matchup between these two. They had a tag team match at Hurricane Pro's last event where Cece Chanel teamed up with Heather Monroe to take on the Vipress and Renee Michelle. This is their first one-on-one -on -one meeting. It should be a great contest here tonight. The warrior, Cece Chanel, a corner striker. Gotta believe that Renee Michelle's gotta stay out of that corner because that is really the game plan of Cece Chanel. She's a clean fighter. She's not gonna take any shortcuts here, but if she's able to back up Renee Michelle, it might be all over quickly. Don't count out Renee Michelle. She does have a background in MMA. She's been training since she was four years old. She's very deceptively strong in the area of MMA. Jessica Rabbit meets Sherry Martel is how she's described herself before. Now you see that wrist lock from Renee Michelle. Nice change, start this contest out here for Ladies Night Out. The best women's division action you'll find is right here on Title Match Network, is Renee Michelle taking CeCe Chanel down. Oh, we got a one count there. CeCe in control here. Oh, 
Renee Michelle since return to Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Has had a great record and looks to build momentum towards another shot at the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. We'll see who wins out between Heather Monroe and Lady Frost. As Renee Michelle gets that bottom rope and now shouting, demanding. The referee calls separation. See, she's now again showing respect, letting go of the hold, no problem. Now Renee Michelle telling the referee that she grabbed the hair. That's that lack of respect that Renee Michelle is known to show for her opponents. But CC trying to not let that be a big deal, showing respect here with hands stretched out. Have a nice clean contest. And Renee wants nothing to do with it. Swift kick to the solar plexus, now drops CC down. The Warriors Chanel always wants to have a clean fight where Renee Michelle wants to win it at any means necessary. And if you look at that, Renee Michelle arguing that that's what CC Chanel did earlier. Grabbing the hair and then draping the throat across that middle rope. Renee Michelle taking any corner she can take. Bringing the Warrior S. Now whipping into the opposite corner, but Chanel cuts it off. Oh, and then Sunset Flip. Here's the cover. And only got a two count. And as the back roll up goes for cover again. Oh. Shoulders. Might not have been up there, but now CC going again, trying to small package, rolls her up again. Inside cradle. Oh! And there's a code breaker, drops down CC just like that. Michelle dropping Warriors' face again and again in those turnbuckles from the top to the bottom. And now screaming again in the referee's face. Let her do her work. And he's got to get Chanel out of those ropes. Back at the center of the ring. Looking to push her up for a suplex. Snap suplex, beautifully done by the beautiful Renee Michelle. Got a one count. And there's a chin lock. Renee Michelle taking Cece Chanel to task. It was Heather Monroe and Cece Chanel who got the victory in that last contest against Vipers and Renee Michelle. You know, Renee wants to Return the favor, get a big win here tonight at Hurricane Pro for Ladies Night Out. Oh, and Cece dropping Renee down. And now Renee in that corner. I told you about Cece now when she's got someone in the corner. That is her game. This is her wheelhouse, and this is not good for Renee Michelle. And so Five Count had to create some separation there or she would have been disqualified. Renee Michelle, no pun intended, is on the ropes. That boxer background. Cece Chanel takes Renee down. We got a two count. CC confirming with the referee that was only two counts. Has to keep that momentum going, stay on offense. Gets the ropes for momentum. Renee cuts her off and a big boot right to the face from Renee Michelle. And now the money almost flustered there from that offense from CC before. Now reining those forearms on the face. Again getting in the referee's face. Renee 
Michelle Irish whip. And she now drops the knee on Renee. Takedown again. Just like that, Chanel back in control. Oh, and there's a big spinning kick from the money. Goes for the cover. That is it. Introducing first, for our nation's capital of Washington, D.C., she is the money. Also known as the Mistress of Wrestling. Yeah! All right, the Mistress of Wrestling. Add that to the long list of monikers for the money Renee Michelle. And introducing her opponent from San Juan, Puerto Rico. She is the reigning and defending ladies' night out champion, La Sicaria. All right, here we go. The Ladies Night Out Championship on the line here on Title Match Network here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. That's what it's all about, the Ladies Night Out Championship. The first and only Ladies Night Out Champion defending her title here tonight, Eva Lise. La Sicaria is going to be defending that title against the money Renee Michelle, who at the top of this program issues a statement that she considers herself the mistress of professional wrestling. And if she's able to take that championship away from Eva Lise, something that no one has been able to do, she will earn that moniker of being the mistress of professional wrestling. But Eva Lise, the champion, taking Renee Michelle right down, right off the get go here. It's going to be one hell of a contest. First time ever matchup here for the Ladies' Night Out Championship. Conspicuous by their absence, of course, is La Sicarias, is Eva Lise. Diamante, of course, got involved at Ladies' Night Out 11 in that main event championship matchup. You can go back and watch Ladies' Night Out 11 available right here on Title Match Network. It's one hell of a main event. Her name is Shell. Taking the champion, Eva Lee's to school here. Eva Lee's rolling to the outside here. None too pleased with that succession of arm drags from Renee Michelle. And there's a basement drop kick, takes the champion down. Let's go. I mean, Eva Lee's has been a fighting champion and might have underestimated the challenger, Renee Michelle, here. And now, Michelle on the outside looking maybe for. Look, possibly an Asai moonsault. We'll never know. Eva Lee's grabbed her, dropped her face first in the ring apron, now throwing her to the steps at ringside. Last time we saw Eva Lee defend this championship, I was saying, was that Ladies' Night Out 11. She got help from her La Sicarius, her sister Diamante, helped Eva Lee get a big victory over Chelsea Green. has been a dominant champion ever since capturing that championship at Ladies Night Out 8. Which you can also see back in the archives here in Title Match Network, the very best in women's wrestling represented here for Ladies Night Out, and Eva Lise is their fighting champion. And it's hard to believe that no woman has been able to wrestle that championship away from her. Renee Michelle is giving her a run for her money here. No pun intended, the money Renee Michelle wants that championship gold. Get the respect that she believes she earns. She slaps Eva Lee right in the chest there. And this championship is on the line. Referee's trying to get these two women back in the ring. Renee Michelle would be smart to do that. She cannot win that championship on the outside. Finally rolling Eva Lee to the inside here. Ladies' Night Out Championship again on the line here, right here in Fort Park. And there's a big boot right to the face. That athleticism from Renee Michelle, beautiful and deadly is the mistress of professional wrestling, now gesturing in the corner, gonna move up here. Ivelisse in a prone position, here goes for a moonsault! Oh. Ivelisse wisely moves out of the way. Renee Michelle found nobody home there. Not today, not today. Renee Michelle showing a lot more tenacity here, pulling out a lot of big high flying moves. God, got caught right there by Ivelisse. Saw so Renee Michelle going for that moonsault possibly early. Oh, here's a cover here. Two count. 
Renee Michelle busting out the moonsaults, uncharacteristic for her. Showing her growth as a competitor shows how much the Ladies' Night Out Championship is on the line. But has not stopped the dominance of Eva Lee so far, who's got Renee Michelle right where she seemingly wants her. Stomping away at the challenger. It's the champion, Eva Lee. One of the most dominant women in all of professional wrestling. Former two time Shine champion. And as I've said, no one has been able to wrestle that Ladies' Night Out title away from her. Renee Michelle firing back here. A little quick pro quo from Renee Michelle taking the boots to Eva Lise, who's now prone in the corner here. But Eva Lise wisely slips out of the way. Renee Michelle crashes into the corner there. Yeah. Referees counts all almost up to four there. Eva Lise. Front face lock turns it into a nice suplex with the bridge. Beautiful suplex there. Only got a two count. Incredible technique from the ladies' night out champion. There's a great find of the rear chin lock with the leg legs wrapped around the waist of Renee Michelle. Renee Michelle has nowhere to go. Center of the ring. Renee Michelle trying to implement all those high fly maneuvers, trying to implement that MMA background. Eva Lee's trying to put a stop to that, grounding her in the center of the ring, dictating the pace, forcing Renee Michelle to fight up here. And that's the great technique of the champion, Eva Lee. Changing the game plan, changing the momentum of the matchup as Renee tries to position herself to get her foot on that rope. It wasn't working, trying now trying to break out of this. Those knees to the face, the flexibility of Renee Michelle there. Got some separation finally. And here's some forearms. Return exchange from Eva Lee. Back and forth we go here. Thigh kicks and Eva Lee's now raising it up, kicked right to the lower back. But Renee Michelle again returning fire. Move for move, match for match. Renee Michelle has been returning everything that Eva Lee's has been dishing at her. Now Eva Lee's might not be smart to go with blow for blow, and now both women down. Eva Lee's the street fighter. Renee Michelle has been training in MMA since she was four years old. She knows how to fight with the best of them. Both women down here in this championship contest. Both women back up to their feet. We're live on title match network and here comes the money, Renee Michelle. Here comes the mistress of professional wrestling. Fire and there's a big kick right in the face. That leg extension. And again, catching the champion in the corner there. Went for maybe it again. Oh, Eva Lee's moved right out of the way. And now Michelle, again, uncharacteristically shows how much the Ladies' Night Out Championship means. She's moving up to the top rope. Stalking the champion position. Renee trying to maybe, God, moving all the way up to the top rope here. But Eva Lee's caught her there. Maybe took a little too much time trying to get in position there. Again, that's the risk. When you go up top, you allow your opponent to catch themselves. Sometimes it can be all or nothing. Eva Lee looking to make Renee Michelle pay for giving her that out, giving her that break. These two women fighting on the top rope. Renee Michelle shoves Eva Lee down all the way up to the top rope. Is Renee Michelle big missile drop kick? Drop kick catches Eva Lee. She almost rolled all the way to the outside. No, pulls her to the center. Hooks the far leg. Only a two count. Now we'll see the tenacity of Renee Michelle. She had everything positioned there. Caught Eva Lee. Caught connected with the drop kick. 
pulled her to the center of the ring. She did everything right, and still Eva Leaves was able to kick out. She's got to stay relentless, stay on offense here. This is what it takes when you want to be a champion in this business, especially one as prestigious as the ladies on a championship. Big tornado DDT. Use that center row for leverage. Stepping up, hooks both legs, and no, oh, and Renee Michelle able to get that shoulder up, and Eva Lee's cannot believe it. Shut up! Yeah. Yeah. What? Eva saying it's all over, telling us to watch this. And saying this is for all of you. I believe her. That's why she's been a dominant, undefeated Ladies' Night Out champion. Oh, but Renee Michelle with a big palm strike, upper palm strike, right to the face of Eva Lee. Oh, and caught her. It was a code breaker. And the champion is stunned. The champion's down. Renee's got to capitalize here. Possibly should have gone for the cover there, but she is so focused on implementing this new offense. She's got Eva Lee in position. Will she be able to connect with the Moonsault this time? She does! Moonsault connects it over and Renee. God, she might have might have hurt herself finally connected. You see her pulling away. Everything is on the line. She could, should have gone for the cover, moved away. Wants to get another bit of offense in. Now wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you doing? What are you doing? They're on the apron is from Miranda Alizé. Arguing with the referee. Now, what is going on here? On, Renee Michelle trying to throw a strike at Miranda Alizé. She has no business here. And there's a rear naked choke. Drops her down. Does Eva Lee's dropping down the challenger? Uh, gesturing. Over to her comrade, the Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight Champion, Miranda Alizé, a member of Las Sicarias, here supporting the Ladies' Night Out Champion who goes for the cover. And again, thanks to outside interference. And still, Ladies' Night Out Champion, Eva Lee. Yes, still champion. Eva Lee, thanks to a distraction from Miranda Alizé, again retains the Ladies' Night Out Championship. Just like she did at Ladies' Night Out 11, when Diamante did the exact same thing.